Yagala buli omu abe mulamu Omusajjo ono yali akonvubye this man who was paralyzed unable to move was lying on a bed and Jesus had mercy on him He proclaimed that his sins were all forgiven and he told him to rise up and walk Jesus is here today. He wants to proclaim that our sins are forgiven, that your sins are forgiven, that my sins are forgiven, that the sins of Uganda are forgiven, and that we should rise up and walk. You know, when you cut down a tree and you only cut off the branches, that tree will begin to sprout once again. If you want to remove a tree, you have to go down to the roots and you have to uproot from the bottom this tree and then it will never grow again. Now when Jesus saw this paralyzed man he said, take heart, your sins are forgiven. What had caused this paralysis? What had caused this sickness? What is the cause of our paralysis? You know Uganda is now paralyzed, paralyzed with COVID, paralyzed with lockdown. What is paralyzed in your life? Your finances, your relationships, your marriage, your health. We are paralyzed. And Jesus is looking at us today as he saw this paralyzed man. And the first thing he says to us, your sins are forgiven. Because dear friends, the Bible says, that sin, that death and sickness came into the world because of sin. But Jesus came into the world to forgive our sins. Sin is the root cause of our suffering. I repeat, sin is the root cause of all our suffering but Jesus has come to uproot our sins okugenda kuchikolo okuchija yo kwe kuonye zivuwa kwa na madala omsajono singa yezu ya mugamba bugami nti owonye genda omoyo gwete gwandi wonye you know dear friends we are made of body and soul and the body and the soul is within the body and the body is mixed up with the soul they are one so when the soul is sick the body is sick 
The soul is the inner person. Omuntu owo munda. Omubidi we guru ala. No omuntu owo munda. Na ya wala. Yensonga wachi wove romu wade. Ona kuwala. Oulira. Ngobula mutebucha aliburunji. The soul and the body are together. When the soul is sick, the body is sick. When the body is sick, the soul is sick. So Jesus declares... The healing of the soul. Ebi bibyo bikusonye dwa. Na agenda kuchikolo chobu wa debo na. And the people around, they said, Unavuma katonda. How dare he forgive sins? Who gives him the power? Who gives him the authority? And today, many people are saying, How can you go to a priest? The power to forgive sins has been given to human beings, to the Son of Man. We are very blessed that in the Catholic Church, we have priests like me. I am a son of a human being. But the authority and power to forgive sins has been given to the Church and is exercised by the priests. If you don't use it, what a waste. Now we are in lockdown. Obura mobufu sebuzibu. Obude wona omuntu agenda. Have you repented of your sins? This is a question we have to ask every day. Katite tusobura agenda mpenitensia. But I want to declare to you. Your sins are forgiven. Kneel down, think about all the sins you have committed, write them on a piece of paper and confess to God and say, God, I need forgiveness today, not tomorrow. Don't waste this time. Be reconciled with God. Come back to God. That's why he's giving us this time. Your sins are forgiven, Jesus says, but you have to repent. We want to confess that in Uganda we need the forgiveness of Jesus. You personally and I, maybe we are paralyzed because of our anger, our envy, our lust, our pride, our laziness, our greed. Repent and believe the good news and rise up, take up your bed and walk. May the Lord be with you.